Hi guys, it's Casey. Um, so, today in the mail I got my Bargain Bee box, which I was super surprised about because um, it usually comes a little bit later in the month. Um, and it's only August 5th and I already got it, so I was super surprised. I did see a thumbnail of somebody else's today on YouTube and I know that this month's is um, Pink Agate, it looked like. So, I'm excited for that. I do love pink. Um, the pendant I wasn't impressed with from the thumbnail. I didn't actually watch the video because I wanted to give you my honest um, review. Um, and there was only one out so far. So, this is my first viewing of this entire package. I just saw the one thumbnail picture of it. So, um, But this month's theme is wildfire wild flower fire wild flower meadow it says summer is a season of lazy oh lazily flitting butterflies and brilliant wildflowers i can't talk today guys i'm so sorry we've combined these motifs with colors inspired by the pantone 2021 palette for a vivid collection of cheerful floral hues fuchsia agate is our star with a bright petal like pendant white quartz, iridescent glass, crystal, and floral porcelain add on trend touches of lilac, lavender, and pale rose. Grassy green accents, pressed glass shapes, and silver finished finings complete this collection. So, that is your theme for this month. I'm excited to see what is in here. I hope it is better than last month's. I still have to shoot that video. Um, like I say, I haven't been able to get to my desk. It became the storage section and people were piling everything right here and I could not get to my desk. So I hadn't shot anything for last month. Then with my um, Potomac stuff, I had a big mess up and didn't get mine really until the last week of the month. So I'll be shooting that soon, probably tomorrow maybe so i'm gonna try and get on it um with this if for those of you that don't know the bargain b box runs 17.95 a month and that includes your shipping uh it was or well it still kind of is my favorite subscription um based on the things that you get versus the price you get a ton of stuff for the price uh last month wasn't that great but um i'm hoping this month they redeem themselves so we're gonna see i know a lot of you were on the fence about canceling your subscriptions so let's hope that this month they have done better i don't know who put together last month's collection but it wasn't the greatest um nor was the month before that honestly so um every month when you get this you also get a 30 percent off coupon uh to shop in their sister store beadboxbargains.com they actually just had christmas in july over there and had some really cool stuff available so, I really like that. I wasn't able to get anything, unfortunately, because I'm broke. <laughs> so, I'm barely just getting my, uh, my normal subscriptions. But, so, I do have one or two unboxings to unbox for you that I got a couple of months ago. And, like I say, still had not got to unbox because I haven't been able to get to my desk. But, hopefully, I just, I've kind of been working on it so I can hopefully get to my stuff now okay then every month you can also enter their contest to win $25 gift certificate to their sister store you just um, submit a photo of something that you've made using this box to facebook.com slash beadbox or bargain beadbox sorry um, or via email so and then they will announce the winner on their Facebook page and notify them via email so there's that. On the back side, there's always an identification key for what's in this box. Um, they have these little initials at the edge or at the end of these, and um, those stand for lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. They try to get their metals with all of that in there. Um, they don't always succeed, but they try. Some of them say dyed and heat treated, other things like that. Uh, this month, it looks like we got 21 items, and it says our approximate retail value for this shipment is $68, so that's pretty good. All right, then it always comes in a blue mailer. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Usually comes in a blue mailer. There have been a few months during this pandemic that they didn't get everybody's in a blue mailer, but most of the time it does. It used to come in a teal, but now it's coming in this um, more cobalt blue mailer. 
Um, so I'm always super excited when I get this in the mail. Then it usually comes, well, always comes wrapped in tissue paper. So I'm going to pause you guys for a second. I'm going to undo this tissue paper and then we will get started on what's in this box. Okay, I'm back. So it normally comes in one of these, well, always comes in one of these um, organza bags and they usually coordinate with the color of your theme. So this month is the flower theme. So I think pink goes well with that. So we are going to open this up and see what is in our bag of goodies. And let me sort of get organized here. Okay, so I'm going to move stuff over. Oops. Okay. So, number one on our list is two-piece enamel butterfly pendants, antique silver. So, that is these. They are pink and purple. I really like these. I think they're very pretty. They are very lightweight, so they're a thinner metal, and they're enameled. I have some in a couple of different colors that I've gotten off their, their store. So, really like those. Those are really pretty. I'm going to put them up like that. Okay, and then number two is a 15-inch strand of 4-millimeter crystal bichrome, bichrome beads in grass green. So that is these. We usually get bichromes in a 4-millimeter um, size. So those are really pretty. This screams... Um, spring and summer to me so those should go really pretty with their uh flowery theme then we've got 14.5 inch strand of six millimeter fuchsia agate round beads dyed and heat treated okay so that is these i'm really excited to get these these are very pretty and it says we got a 14 and a half inch strand of them and they're six millimeter. Um, I love agate. It's never the same. I love the different striations that you're going to see in these beads. So love that. Very glad to have those. And I'm, I lean more towards the fuchsia colors on pinks. So love that. <clears throat> four is one meter of four by 2.7 millimeter steel jewelry chain, lead free and cadmium free. So that is this, and it's a pretty decently dainty chain. Um, I'm not a huge fan of big chains, so I really like that this is a smaller chain, and you can do a lot with it. I love that we get chain because chain is very expensive, even at Hobby Lobby and stuff. You pay 10 to $12 a spool for it, and this is about three feet, so that's great to have. It'll make you a couple of projects there. So, number five is 30 by 28 millimeter flower pendant antique silver. So, that is this. Pull it out here. This is really cool. Um, I would say it's kind of plain, but I think this could be made really, really pretty if you either pan, um, pantina it or... Um, Maybe glued some crystals onto it. It's kind of simple for what we normally get from them, but it's still really pretty. I do like that. It takes a minute to grow on you, I think. <laughs> so then number six is 30 pieces of 6.5 millimeter floral pattern scalloped bead caps. So that's these. Let's see what these look like. 
So I'm really picky about bead caps. I don't like the great big ones. They're all right. I'm not going to say I love them. They're okay. At least they're not huge. So there's those. Okay. Number seven is 50 pieces of four millimeter daisy spacers. Lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. So that's going to be these. They're the tiny ones. Whoops. I had some on my finger. These are the tiny ones. They don't. It does not look like there is 50 in here, but there might be. There might be because they're so tiny. Um, I like that they're tiny though. I have a lot of the regular size ones, so glad to have some more of those tiny, teeny tiny ones. And they're going all over everywhere. That's okay. Okay. Then number eight is 10 pieces of 13. 0.5 millimeter pressed glass leaf beads green crystal green crystal ombre so i really like these i've ordered these in a couple of colors um just from their sister site um you get 10 pieces and these will work out perfectly if you do any kind of flower type project so i do really like those those are really pretty Sorry, I got little tiny bugs attracted to my light here. Okay, number nine is approximately a 7.5 inch strand of 8 by 6 millimeter crystal rondel beads in light rose AB. So that's got to be these. These are really pretty, and I think I have bought these before um, in a longer strand. So I might have some more that I can add to these to substitute and add to my my pieces so i really do like those though those are a beautiful pink color a rose okay number 10 it says 10 is free extra 32 by 18 millimeter glass rectangle pendant with pressed flower huh so I really, really like this, and I'm shocked that they said this is an extra. It's really pretty. This isn't a great big piece. It does have a groove here. I don't know if you can see it on the side, so um, you could wire wrap it around this groove, or you could just glue some rhinestones in there. That's really pretty. It's not super huge, um, but not everybody likes huge things. So some people like daintier things, which would make that really pretty. And that to me actually, well, maybe, I don't know. It says a press flower, but honestly that looks painted, but maybe it is press flower. I'm not sure. Either way, it's really, really pretty. Okay. Number 11 is 8 pieces, 16 by 10 millimeter, double-sided daisy links, lead-free, nick-free, cadmium-free. Okay. And that is these. Um, these have a little bit of a weight to them. And they are a length. They have a a connector on either side so that's really cool and they are in this silver color okay number 12 is six pieces of six petal flower charms lead free nickel free cadmium free so that is these These are very lightweight, um, but I think they're very cute. I really like those. Ooh, I'm dropping them. 
Those are really cute. And they're bigger than most charms that we get. Okay. Then number 13 is four sets of 19 by 24 millimeter dotted flower toggle clasps. Lead free, nickel free. So let me see if I can find those. About 13? Yes. Okay. I totally lost my mind. Okay, so these are some that I've been meaning to order from their website for a little while. I think these are very cute. Here is your um, toggle and your bar. Very cute. And you get four of them. Those ones were not uh, nickel free though. So just a word of the wise if you're allergic to nickel. So number 14 is a 10 piece strand of 10 millimeter floral porcelain beads. I think these are really cool. Um, they're really pretty. And I really like these. I like the design on them. I wish we would have got some more than 10. But like I say, hopefully they'll have more and we can buy them off their website. Those are really pretty though. Okay. Now we've got um, two pieces of 19 by 23 millimeter butterfly charms, antique silver. So that is these. These are curved. I don't know if you can see that, but they are curved up and these are not double-sided. However, something that would be cool would be to glue them together so you could see the curvature of them and make it one charm. That would be really cool. So, there's two pieces of those, and I really like that. Okay, and number 16 is 10-piece strand of 10 millimeter lilac quartz dyed round beads. So, 16? Okay. I really, really love these. These are a beautiful color. Wish we would have got more of them, of course. These are called Lilac Quartz. They are beautiful. And these are 10 millimeter. Beautiful. Okay. Then, number 17 is a 7... 0.5 inch strand of 8 millimeter iridescent moonstone glass beads man-made. So this is my favorite thing that I saw when I opened it. <clears throat> I absolutely love the man-made moonstone beads. They're gorgeous. That's what these look like. I am going to say that I don't feel like they match as well with the rest of this stuff because these lean more towards red to me. But um they're still really pretty. See, because if you hold them up with these, they don't really match. They lean a little more towards the red, reddish-orange spectrum. But they can still be made into something like maybe with these. That would be pretty. So, those are gorgeous, though. I absolutely love these. I love the effect of these. Beautiful. Okay. Then, number 18 is four pieces of 10 by 11 millimeter pressed glass butterfly beads, violet ombre gold wash. Okay. So that's these. These are beautiful. And... It looks like your hole is through the top center of your butterfly right here. Let me see if I have a head pin available. I do. Okay. So it looks like our hole is... Oh, I had it upside down. Our hole is right there. If you can see that. At the top. So those are really pretty. You got four of them. 
and I really, really like those. They're in a purple. Then we've got 19 is five pieces of 15.5 millimeter pressed glass petal beads in magenta ombre gold shimmer. So these are sort of like the um, leaf pieces, except they're petals. And they're in a magenta. So these are more towards the red. So they match well with these, but not really well with these. Um, I do like them. However, one of our problems last month was that we were saying the collections didn't seem to go well together, and I'm not sure that they did the greatest job this month either. They still kind of went outside of the palette. So, I mean, putting the the fuchsia and the green and pink together is one thing, but then going in and with magenta as well, it, it kind of puts you a little bit outside the box. So, I mean, not that it's bad at all, but I still love the pieces individually. I'm just not sure I love them together. So, number 20 is a 50 millimeter Dragon's Vein Agate Marquee Pendant. So... I have a lot of these. I'm not sure I have a marquee in this particular color, but this is a Chinese agate pendant. You can usually get them for about, mine's damaged. Wait, no, that's not a damage. That's something on it. Okay. Anyways, you can usually get these for less than a dollar through China. And I had bought up a bunch of them through eBay auctions. So I have a ton of these, so I'm not as impressed with this. It is pretty. It definitely does go with these. So I'm glad that it goes with that. Um, but I would have liked to see a better focal. So there's that. Then last but not least on our list is a seven inch strand of four by three millimeter lavender quartz faceted rondelle beads. So that is these. These are tiny. They're very pretty. And they go with your purples up here. Um, I really like these. They can still go with this um, and look okay. They can go with these and look good with your butterflies and with your porcelains. They're not really going to go with those, but that's okay. Um, so I really do like those. They're very pretty. And I love quartz. So once again, I'm going to say that I do like the collection. Not one of my favorites in the, in the series of collections by any means. Um, and I don't really think that these particularly go with this collection. Not that I dislike them at all. I love them. I think they're beautiful on their own. I just don't think they really fit in with this collection. So, that's my honest review of these. I will try and make some pieces and come back and show you what I come up with. Um, but that's going to be in a future future video. There are some coupons out there if you want to subscribe to Bargain Bee Box for $2 off. I know Wendy Woman has one. And I know um, Gina from Orkin and Opal has one. Um... Their Tapping Flamingo might have one. There are several others. I know there are. Um, Turquoise Street, probably. So, look out for that if you're interested in becoming a um, a member of this, this subscription. And, like I say, I hope they step up their game a little bit more. Especially with um, their color wheel. Their color palettes, for sure. Um, because, like I say... These two probably not so much go with this. The rest of it, I think, was pretty decent. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will come back with some finished pieces as soon as I'm able. Thanks, guys. Bye.